Good morning. Uh, I am very excited. I got my buddy Paul back there doing all the work. He has invited me up on a trip with him. We are on his family's property. Just stunning. I'm blown away. It is so pretty. We're going to take some four wheelers up for uh, about a you know 30, 40 minute ride, maybe an hour. And uh, we're doing some backpacking. Yeah, see, I told you, he's going to do all the work. <laughs> So this is, uh, we're 20 minutes in and I'm having so much fun already. I'm parked up here. Luckily we just got started. Uh, Paul forgot something in his truck. So I'm taking a break in this really pretty little camp spot. And uh, he's going to buzz back down to his truck and get what he forgot. I'm, uh, I'm just in awe. His uh, property that he uh, let me come on with him, it belongs to his family. And it's been, his fa it's been in his family for a long time and he's uh, shared some memories. He's got a lot of beautiful memories up here and uh, I appreciate him. Uh, you know, bringing me here. Um, it means a lot to him, therefore it means a lot to me. Really excited that he's uh, kind of invited me up here uh, to share an adventure with him. Uh, thank you, Paul. While I wait for him, I'm going to take a little walk. He told me uh, about a five minute walk. The direction I'm going is a really pretty view of the, of the valley below me and the river. So we're going to go check that out. Uh, the four-wheelers are a lot of fun. <laughs> I wouldn't, uh, we're, we're just you know, we're not too far into the trip, but I wouldn't take my truck up that road. Nope. Really cool piece of history right there. I don't know how that could have uh, made it up here. Uh, Paul says it's been up here as long as he can remember. How long is that, Paul? 50 years. 50? 50 years, so uh, really cool. All right, we have parked the four-wheelers. That was a, a really fun ride. I enjoyed it quite a bit. There's no trail to get to the lake. I don't think it's very far, maybe a mile and a half, two miles, I don't know, but we're walking that direction. So we're, uh, we're in this beautiful little meadow, walking to the lakes, and uh, we are both admiring the beauty. Really, really pretty meadow. Tough walking, slow walking. My feet are wet. We'll get there soon though. While I am breathing heavy, that was uh, a little more challenging than I thought it was going to be. There are just incredible views behind us. And I think, I don't know if I can see it, but that lake right there behind us, I think this is where we're going to camp. We just got to find a camp. There is another lake uh, really close also. I think we're going to obviously camp at one and fish both. I am forgiving Paul for the, the torture he just put me through. Uh, like I said, it was much harder to get here than I thought. But we are seeing uh, quite a bit of fish activity, so that is exciting. We just got to find a place to set up camp. We have found, uh, I think, an incredible camp. Uh, it didn't take too long to find one. Paul's got a spot. I've got a spot. I'm going to get set up. Really awesome firing. And uh, it's sprinkling just a little bit, but nothing, nothing too bad. We should have a great weekend. The lake is calling both of our names. We have saw a lot of activity. That's why we came here. It's time to get camp set up. I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm working with. We'll show you Paul's tent, and then we're probably going to do a lot of fishing, eating, and relaxing. I was pretty sure where it was. So I am all set up. Paul's almost set up. I just walked down and looked at the water. There is so much fish activity. This is one of those lakes that does not get a lot of pressure. Um, very, very little. And I'm excited to fish. I'm going to put together my six weight. Um, and I'm going to be down on the water. So 
it's gonna be fun. Well, about the second we got our fishing poles set up, we got a thunderstorm. It was supposed to be a little bit of weather today. I think this is gonna pass pretty quick. But uh, it is raining pretty good. It's calmed down just a little bit. It was raining really heavy uh, just a minute ago, but we're gonna wait it out. Well, I just woke up. Uh, it stormed pretty good for about an hour. Uh, thunder, lightning, everything. It was pretty cool. Put me to sleep. I'm going to get out of my tent. I'm gonna eat some food and go down to the water. It's gonna be pretty wet, obviously, and marshy. Um, I haven't really been down there yet, so I'm gonna leave the big camera here. I'll take the GoPro and uh, we'll play with the big camera later, but it's time to go fish. I'm into my first fish. Missed a couple strikes. I am super happy about this. Got this one on a dry fly. There we go. I don't know if you can see that or not. That is beautiful. Very, very happy about that. All right, fish number two. Just got to get it through the weeds. There we go. Got some fight. There we go. There we go. Beautiful, thank you. Well, I wish I had my big camera, but I don't. But Paul's hooked up. Good fish. It's a beauty. We hooked up again on a little elk hair caddis. Whew. Goodness. Right to the net. Another beautiful, beautiful brook trout. Uh oh. Came off in the weeds. This is just too much fun. They're uh, very active, they're aggressive. I've lost a couple in the weeds, but I'm going to get this one through. A little smaller than some of the others, but still very pretty. So we are back at camp. It's, I think it's just a little after six. Fishing uh, was good, had an awesome time, but uh, we realized we're both pretty hungry. So I think we're gonna do some dinner, uh, probably just a peak refuel for me tonight. I have some better stuff that Paul made for me that we need a fire to cook. So I'm probably gonna save that for tomorrow. I'm gonna have dinner. I gotta filter water, then I'm gonna have dinner. And then I'm probably gonna go down and uh, fish a little bit more before we start a fire and relax. So awesome, beautiful area. We're having just a great time. Dinner should be good. And uh, luckily we don't need to collect any firewood. There's this dead tree right here, right next to our fire ring. So we got plenty of wood. 
so we can go fishing again after we eat and not have to worry about any of that. <laughs> All right, we have hooked up for the night. I've missed uh, four or five strikes on a stimulator. Put a woolly bugger on and got one. Just gotta steer it out of the weeds. Yep. There we go. They like to run for the. They like to run for the weeds. Good fish there. It's a good fish. Really healthy. Yeah, my camera's a little foggy. It's uh, it's cold. Uh, we sat by a fire for a bit, and uh, we're just getting in our tents. So it's been a really good day. Tomorrow's going to be awesome. I'm going to put a movie on and go to bed. We'll see you all in the morning. Good morning. This really beautiful spot is where I've picked to have my morning coffee. It's breakfast time. I'm gonna do that bison stroganoff that you, you did last night. Paul made me these and I'm really excited to try it. It looks really good. I'm excited at how well it worked. All right, Paul, tell us what it is again. It looks, it looks good. Blackberry, three dried peaches, pumpkin, flaxseed, granola, and freeze-dried milk. Awesome. We're gonna have breakfast of champions. That sun feels good. I'll bet. I guess your hammock's dried up finally. Yeah. So our day hike has began. Um, there's no trails up in here, but we found there's a little pond. I don't know, maybe a half a mile away. We're gonna go check that out first. Uh, we don't know what it looks like, if it has fish, if it doesn't have fish, if it's even still there. Um, we're going to check that out first, then we're going to make our way back uh, below that lake where there is another lake and it definitely has fish. So we might be out for, you know, a few hours, half a day, all day, but we're going on an adventure. We have found our second lake of the day and we are already seeing quite a bit of fish activity. So uh, we're both uh, excited and we're gonna walk down there and find a place to fish. Well, Paul's gonna go for the ones in the creek. Hooked up. Right on, dude. That's awesome. Awesome catch. Good job, dude. Well, that was pretty cool. Paul just hooked up right in the in the creek. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna continue with the creek behind me, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna put my GoPro on, turn this off, and find a little place to call mine. All right, so this is my first fish. A few casts in, Paul and I are doubled up. Feels pretty small, but I'll take it. Quite a bit smaller than the other lake, but beautiful and fun to catch. Thank you. All right, here we got another one. Action has uh, been pretty quick.
Another beautiful little fish. Tell Grandpa to come say hi. This one here just surface struck my woolly bugger. Very pretty. I'm still waiting on Grandpa, but very, very pretty. <laughs> This is too much fun. Well, that one's a little bigger, a little prettier. Thank you. All right, I have uh, moved locations and got a little, little dry fly on now and got another one. Pretty little trout. Oh, did I lose him? Nope, I got him. Come here, little fish. Here we go. Alright, I just missed about six strikes and finally Finally hooked into this little one. And we'll just release that from the net. We are at another little pond. Um, we're probably gonna try and fish this one. Fishing uh, got red hot there for a bit. I had to stop filming it. Uh, Paul and I both caught four or five fish each. It was uh, every cast. Really neat. We're having a lot of fun and we're still content hanging out with this lower lake for a bit anyway. So this is pretty cool. Paul just found a, a geocache. It looks like he found a book in there. How long ago did you sign that uh, register that was in there? Probably 25 years ago. He signed a register 25 years ago, so we're chasing down old memories. So the earliest, uh, the earliest that you can find, did you say was 2001? Yeah. This book starts at 2001. Utah Bill, you're on the first page. So he found his post in this book from 2004. That is really, really cool. Little Paul with a really good roll cast there. I ought to catch a fish. Oh, <laughs> I had a good feeling about that one. Darn it. Here we go. Oh. I put on one of my only leech patterns pink-headed leech and uh, hooked up. First cast with it. Bring it in a little further. Really pretty. It's got some good color on it. I don't know if you can see it too well, but we're just going to release it from the net. Woo! Yeah, they're liking this little leech. It's got some really pretty color to it. Really pretty brook trout. Yes, sir. Come on in, away from those weeds. Pretty red belly. That 
but bingo. They're really uh, liking this leech and they're hitting it hard too, which is kind of fun. This was a back-to-back -back cast for me. Out of the weeds, out of the weeds. Now come here. Small but fun. All right, we have kind of leapfrogged the whole lake and I'm back to where I started. And uh, they stopped taking the leech, so I put a dry fly on and they're hitting that again. So that's good. It's fun. Pretty little fish. We have been down at this lower lake pretty much all day. We've caught a ton of fish. Um, that last fish I caught uh, right over there, my caddis came apart. So I think I'm, uh, I think I'm done here. We've fished the whole lake. Uh, like I said earlier, we've leapfrogged, we've leapfrogged around the whole lake. So I'm uh, gonna relax. I'm almost out of water and my snacks, and we're only 15 minutes away from uh, camp. So probably head up there soon. It's probably around 4.30. I took a glorious little nap in my hammock and uh, I'm going fishing again. So I'm going to leave this big camera here at camp. I'll take my GoPro with me and go see if we can't catch a few more. Try and get it out of the weeds. I think we're going in the right direction. There we go. All right. This was on a little brown woolly bugger. better of a fish up here. The fish are being a little more picky tonight. I just hooked up the one, missed a few strikes, decided to come back and have dinner. Then we'll probably try it again. I'm pretty excited for this one. This is another one that Paul made for me. It says ribeye steak. I'm sold. I am so full. I should have showed you that thing that said ribeye was actually a, a full-blown freeze-dried ribeye steak. It was awesome. And there was a, a New York strip, strip steak. Is that what was in there? Yeah. Paul ate that. I had the ribeye. He knows I love ribeyes. He, he likes ribeyes too. He's just nice. But I'm full and uh, we're going to walk around. We came down to try and get another one before before starting a fire and uh, I just hooked up. Just got to keep it out of the weeds, which is right where it went. It's in the weeds. Oh, oh I lost it. All right, we're going to try and get this one through the weeds. I've lost two. And this one's through. Yep. <laughs> I can't see the path. The water's a little dark. Beautiful fish. Yeah, it's uh... <laughs> My camera almost caught you. Spill your hot chocolate all over yourself.
have found the four wheelers. It only took us about an hour to get out. Um, so I'm gonna wrap this one up. We've got about an hour ride on the four wheelers to the truck and I, uh, I'm gonna enjoy it. It's a really pretty ride. So uh, good trip, we'll see y'all soon.